That's a question I often ask people who are interested in learning Chinese. Why do you want to learn Chinese? Your answer may be Mandarin Chinese is a cool language, or I want to make friends who speak Chinese. Whatever your answer may be, we're here to help you learn. What is Mandarin? Mandarin is the official language of China, mainly spoken by the Han Nation. Mandarin also reflects Chinese culture, which has more than five thousand years of history. Now you may ask, is Chinese difficult to learn? The answer is yes. Chinese is not an easy language for foreigners, especially writing and reading Chinese characters. But learning how to speak basic Mandarin is easy. How? We use pinyin to pronounce Chinese characters. So, if you really want to learn Mandarin, you have to learn pinyin. This is an essential step for you to learn how to speak Mandarin, and it is also the foundation for you to learn how to write Chinese. To help you conquer the challenge of learning pinyin, I will create many bite-sized videos that help you learn and understand basic pinyin. Starting with our next video. Speaking of Chinese characters, let's talk about them briefly. Learning Chinese characters can be very challenging for Mandarin learners. You have to memorize each stroke used to form a character, and then be able to remember how to pronounce it. Chinese is a pictograph language created by our ancestor, who were passing on their knowledge and wisdom. Each character has a distinct meaning. The Chinese characters have evolved over the centuries into the current version, which we call Han Zi, Han Zi, in Chinese. Around the time of the Qin Dynasty, some foreign Chinese speakers began to figure out that using the standard letter alphabets to teach Chinese might help non-Chinese speakers learn the language more easily. This started the development of Pinyin. Now I'm going to give you an example to illustrate the difference between English words and Chinese characters. Unlike English, where each word typically refers to one thing. In Chinese, a thing may be described with two or three Chinese characters. The combination of the letter alphabet and the symbol on top of the letters U and A is Pinyin. All right, now you have some basic knowledge about spoken Chinese and Chinese characters. So, what we have learned after finishing our series on Chinese for beginners? Well, you will be able to use basic Pinyin to speak standard Mandarin. Also. You will be able to use simple Chinese to communicate with local people. Last but not least, you have a better understanding of Chinese culture and traditions. We hope you can learn Mandarin while falling in love with the Chinese culture. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned. I will see you on the next video. Happy learning! Bye.